Now we have to add another six millimeters for the back panel that goes into the cabinet. Lucky for us and for people like me who stopped being good at math when the alphabet was introduced into it, we can let Blender do the math for us by using the advanced mode. So with the main front face selected, I'm going to hit E to extrude and then the equal button. And now you can see up here a little bracket opened. And that's where we can enter any formula we like. So we're going to enter minus 460 to bring the front face all the way to the back side of the cabinet. And then we can start adding back up. So plus the 18 that we already have there. And then plus the six millimeter back panel that we want. So plus six. And now we see Blender calculates for us that we only have to extrude it inwards by 436 millimeters.